Maine Congressman Tom Allen has a very different view of the scrapping of the DDG 1000 project. He thinks it's ultimately going to be good for BIW. He's in Washington as well. Thanks for being with us, Congressman. I'm very glad to be with you. Let, let me start off with the last question that I asked Senator Collins. Does it make sense to build two DG, DDG 1000s already under contract? Yes, it does, because the DDG 1000 has some new capabilities that the Navy is very interested in. But it's a land attack uh, destroyer, and that's not what the Navy has decided it needs now. It needs to go back to the DDG 51s because the 51s are better at protecting themselves and the fleet against a missile attack. And based on what we've seen in the Middle East and uh, in Asia, uh, that's, a, that's a capability that the Navy really needs more of. Now, you've told leaders at one of the uh, unions at BIW that the Navy has assured you that Bath will get at least six of the nine Arleigh Burks the Navy is now going to order. Senator Collins got no such assurance today. Who at the Navy made you that promise? And even with that workload, is it enough for BIW? Well, I think the best way to say this is that, that I'm really confident that Bath Ironworks is going to get most of the work. And maybe it's six, maybe it's seven, maybe it's eight. Who knows? But uh, that process has yet to be worked out. But I'm very confident because of the great work that's done at Bath, because they've improved productivity so substantially over the last few years, because this is, this is a ship that Bath workers know how to build, that we're going to do very well going forward. And we can worry about every uh, last issue, but I am confident, I'm very confident, based on my conversations today with the Secretary of Navy and uh, yesterday with the Chief of Naval Operations, the bath is going to be in good shape. They, I, I'm confident of that. Quickly, Senator Collins says scrapping the DGG is going to be bad for BIW. You don't agree with that? No, not at all. I mean, these are ships that bath workers know how to build. We build them better than anyone in the world. We're going to get most of the work of the nine ships going forward. And uh, I just, uh, this is going to be okay. I believe it's going to lead to a stable workforce at bath for years to come. All right. Congressman Tom Allen from Washington, thanks so much for joining us.